Hi, this is Maxian. Um, welcome to a short introduction to using Azure AD for authentication for Oracle Apex applications. So, first step will be to create a simple Apex application you use for a demo purpose. So, this is going like the standard Apex route, creating some application from some template. I used some Excel file containing some info on data and animals we saw in our backyard. So let's create the application. And once we're done, we're just trying to run the application. So you get the standard Application Express authentication prompt. So I'm just logging in. Okay, you see, that's my account. There's a dashboard, some search interface, some reports, and some calendar showing when the events did happen. So now we get to Azure AD. What we're going to do is to register our application. So it's new registration, we give it a nice name. So, and then we need some uh, redirect URL. We can add it later, but let's do it now. For this, we use the base URL we had for our Apex application. We just paste it down there. Add some extension, apexauthentication.callback. Then we give some ID to the application. Okay, just set it there. Save it, good. So now we got the first part done. Next step will be to add some users to the enterprise application. Just pick the application, go to users, add users. You actually should use some group, but we just use an user here, select it assign and here we go. Going back to the registration because we will need that later. And now we switch back again to Apex. First step, we need to add some web credentials. So you do this from your workspace utilities, give it a name so now we need some client ID. We get that from Azure. And the next step, we need some client secret. We get that as well from Azure, but first we need to create it. So down there, new client secret, give it a name, add it. Yeah, and copy. Paste it there twice. Go to create. And we got our web credentials. So next step is define the authentication scheme. Again, shared components. Go to uh, create authentication scheme, create. Well, we just go to the next step give it a name. So now we're using the social sign in, we get open ID already set there. So the URL we get from Azure AD, you get here the endpoints and one of those is the open ID metadata document, copy that to the clipboard. paste it, then we extend the scope a bit, get some email, use offline access, and then you get the username attribute. I use preferred username because if you have a attribute that will not be present, you get some error. Good, again, so we're done here. You see it's a current schema. So, last thing to try is open a new browser window 
open the application URL, type in your Azure AD username you just added before, password. And now we're here. We logged in with our Azure AD account. So everything is working perfect.